Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another Sims 4 house building video here on my channel. Today we're making a small one bedroom luxurious home. So it's, well, it's called Grounded, as you can see. So, I mean, quite clearly that the person that owns this isn't grounded because they spent a lot of money on a really small home, which is kind of dumb, let's be honest. But, you know, that's the fun of the title. Uh, so, <laughs> so here we are building this. Uh, you're starting off with um, a little bit of roof detailing, using the small little fence to uh, get a little bit, a uh, little bit of uh, detail and sort of sunshades here and there. I really, 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 really wish we had uh, constrained floor elevation in The Sims 4 because. In The Sims 3, or The Sims 2 for that matter, I would have done like a, uh, a split level here on the roof to add more detail. So, you, you know, you'd have those shorter walls and, and all that kind of stuff. Or even if they just had the, the ability to place like foundations on different levels, because that would create the same effect. It's, it kind of sucks that we can't do that. But instead, what I did is I used the, um, the floor trim, as you can see. I put the floor trim around the edges to give it a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of thickness to it instead of just having a, a blank edge of a tiny, thin fence. It, looked, it looks a little bit nicer with that sort of floor trim going around the roof there. And I'm just repositioning the house. So it's in the middle of the plot. Now, this is built in Newcrest on one of the 20 by 15 lots, obviously right next to another house build that I have over there. If you haven't seen the video for that one on the left, that's called New Groove. You can check that out over on my channel. Just, just search it. Just search New Groove. It'll come up. Uh, but anyways, so yeah, here we are just doing a little entrance. I thought having that little uh, tuft of, I don't know, I don't even know what those are, the little grass tufts, a uh, little little ground bush, I'm going to call it a ground bush, uh, in, in the middle of the pathway, but it kind of looks cool. Uh, so I've gone for the, the color scheme I've gone for here is we're using this sort of, I, I don't even know, it's like a masonry vertical wooden looking panel thing. I don't know, I've never actually read the description for it. It kind of looks like a, a vertical wooden panel, but it's in the masonry category, so it must be like a plaster or something. Uh, anyways, I used those for the little uh, walls sticking out, and then I used, uh, obviously, you can see those black bricks uh, on the section behind it, and then the rest of the house is a white, and it all ties in together quite nicely when uh, when the windows start taking uh, taking up their places around the uh, around the house. I wish there was some, because um, when, when you make your, your walls sort of medium height, and you use the uh, the full height short windows, the ones I'm using now, if you use those windows on a medium height wall, they actually look really nice because you have big glass panes, but they don't take up the whole height. And I wish we had slightly smaller windows of the ones I'm using now uh, for these short walls, but you know, we obviously don't. Uh, yeah, I, I can wish, I, I, I can wish. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. There's, there's so many things that just I need. Like also a single glass door that matches those windows. Like so a full height door that matches the windows you can see here. That doesn't exist. And I just don't get it. They could have just copied and pasted the model from The Sims 3 or even The Sims 2 for that matter because they both had one. Uh, but they didn't. So I don't know. Uh, anyways, so uh, yeah, just getting in the uh, final windows. Uh, here and there, and then I'll start working on the layout on the inside. Uh, so like I said, it is a one bedroom, one bathroom house. Uh, I furnished it to make it quite slick, you know, it made it quite, uh, quite fancy because it's kind of for your, your professional. They got a good, they got a good job. It pays quite well. So, you know, they want a nice, they want a nice house. Um, I decided to use black floorboards in this house because I thought it seemed, it seemed quite fancy. To have black floorboards, I don't, I don't think I use them that often. I don't even remember. I don't remember the last time I actually used them, and I think they went really well. So I did. I did like the black flooring and then like nice light walls. So you can see I got that sort of minty light, minty green on the walls, and then I think the bedroom was that light blue, and then I can't remember the. I think the bathroom is just a grey maybe. Uh, so this is the little entrance slash hallway area, which actually turned out really really nice. I love I love this like little two by two entrance area because you got the two doors for the other rooms. I don't know. It, it just it just worked. You know, when you, when you build that, when you build a house and then you, cause I, I don't know how you guys build houses, but I always build the, the outside first. I always build the exterior of the house. Cause I, I want to, I design the house from the outside. Cause I'm like, Hey, this looks good from the outside. And then the layout comes second. So what you'll often see with some of my houses is that the layout doesn't really work that well because <laughs> sometimes the layout becomes really, really awkward and it doesn't, you know, it kind of doesn't flow. Uh, because I've, I've designed the exterior first, but in this one, it seemed to work quite well. Like I, I went in and uh, the, the rooms fit in pretty well and we have plenty of room for the kitchen and living area uh, for, for a one bedroom house. So I was about to say home, but then I said house. So it's like house. Um, yeah, so it worked, it worked pretty well. 
Uh, the other, I mean, the other good thing about The Sims 4 and, uh, specifically is that uh, if the if I needed more room, it's pretty easy to just grab the walls and drag them, uh, and even just move the entire house. That's also good. But yeah, so I'm, I'm very happy with how the layout worked in this build, and uh, yeah, yeah, that's where I'm going with that. So that's a little kitchen nook. Uh, so it's like a little kitchen and you'll see, I'll chuck in a little dining table in just a second and you'll see how that all goes. So the living area, as you can see, is like three by nine. Yeah, it is like three by nine with a little pop out there. So it's pretty, it's pretty small. Like I said, uh, it's, a, it's a person that uh, owns a small house, but they renovated it because they're, they're, they're Mr. Moneybags or Mrs. Moneybags or Miss Moneybags. Or uh, Ms. Moneybags, if she prefers. Uh, but yeah, they, they, they've, they've done it up. And they've probably invested too much money into a small house and they're really not going to get their return on investment unless they wait like 20 to 30 years really because they've just sunk too much money into this house it's really quite silly to be frankly to be quite frank but thank god in the world of sims you can just mother load it so you're fine really you know <laughs> so you're all good no worries uh so that's a little living space there i i was hoping like when i came to the living area like this uh little sofa and i was like hmm how do I do? I, I would have liked to put the sofa in the middle, but you know, it'd be, it'd be pretty crap to get around that sofa if I put it in the middle. Uh, yeah, so we've got a little TV on the uh, little glass table there, looking quite nice. Got a little single coffee table as well. Put your drinks down on, or you know, put your feet up on as long as you take off your shoes, because I don't want dirt on my glass coffee table. All right? Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So a little, little, uh, yeah, little, little living space there. All good. I've only said that once this episode, uh, this house building video. I really should stop saying that. See, the problem is because some of you know I'm recording uh, a bunch of videos uh, in a very short amount of time, so I can schedule them uh, over about five weeks because I'm going away on a, on a trip. Uh, and the problem with that is when you start saying something, like if I if I'm in the habit of saying a specific thing, and I'm recording, you know, like 20 videos a day, and that saying comes up in all the videos. It's going to be spread out over five to six weeks. And it seems like I say it all the time, but I wouldn't actually be saying it all the time. It's only when I'm doing videos. I don't know. Yeah. So that, that you know, that's why I got to stop saying that. Uh, yeah, good. Uh, we aren't, we're, we're not all good though. So I'm not going to say that. Oh uh, yeah. So here's the, here's the uh, double bedroom. In case you didn't know in the Sims 4, you can have two Sims in that bed. One will get in and then they can scoot over to the other side. Of course, if the, the Sim, and the far side of the bed wants to get out, the other sim has to get out first, I, I think. I don't know, I haven't actually fully tested that, but you, you can scoot over in bed so they can have, um, you can have two sims in there. So that will work just fine. Getting some nice curtains up there. I thought having the two side curtains closed and the middle one open looked kind of cool. So I went with that, that look there. Nice little light on the ceiling. And, uh, and just getting in some final decorations to make the room complete. I think I get a little chair in there. Yeah, I get, a little, I get a little seat in there so you could sit down, type your shoes or something, whatever you're doing in there. I don't know. Uh, nice little picture above the end of the bed. And then I think I'm just moving on to the bathroom. And uh, yeah, nice high-end bathroom. I thought I thought having like the gray tiles and the gray walls seemed uh, it seemed quite modern. You know, it seems quite quite out there. And then uh, having beautiful looking uh, um, bathroom pieces as well. You know, high-end, top-notch. Waste of money stuff. Uh, that's what we're all about here. <laughs> it's what we're all about in this house. And then I, I brought in that wooden panel wall from the kitchen as well, just to tie those two together. And also, it's good because that 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 panel texture actually matches the sort of grey one we already have in the bathroom, which is kind of useful. Uh, so I was just going around, having a look at what I could do uh, here on the outside. I was like, put a bin in. I think I forgot to do a bin in uh, one of my recent. I think it was the house opposite this one. I don't think I did a bin in the kitchen. I know I did one outside. Oh, no, maybe I did. I, no, I think I had a bin outside, but I didn't have a bin in the kitchen. Bins are one of those things in Sims 4 that I always seem to forget. I don't know. I, I, it's just, I guess because I'm so used to like Sims 3 or Sims 2 where they'd always have a bin on the lot no matter what. But like when you when you start building a house in this game now, there's no post box and there's no, there's no bins. You have to have to remember to put them in. And I don't recall if I put in a post box or not. I think I did. So the bin's out the back. Did I put it in a post box? Oh god. Uh, apologies if I didn't. Let's see if I remember. <laughs> Let's see if I remember to do it in just in just a minute's time. So yeah, just getting a few trees around the lot. I did I didn't want to overcrowd the um the lot with trees because I always find like when I'm playing and there's a ton of trees in my way, I usually just delete them anyways because they just they just get in the way. 
Simple as that, really. And um, and so I left the garden open as well, so you could do whatever you wanted out there. Get some barbecues in there or something. Or maybe even a pool you could fit in. And that would be fine. No, I didn't put it in a post box. Huh. Well, I apologize for that, but that's going to be something you're going to have to add. Actually, do you, even, do you even need a post box in this game? Like, what happens if you play without it? Because you get your bills on your phone. I mean, sometimes they, they send you stuff, I guess, like, like gems or something. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, obviously going around the exterior shots of the house now. Here's the entrance way, so we'll jump inside. Um, we can see the little entrance foyer there, which I think looks so nice. I, I love that little entrance area there. I think it turned out very, very nice. There's a little kitchen area. Uh, nice and nice and cozy with a little dining table for two as well. And you can see where it is in relation to the entrance. Uh, here's a shot down to the living space. Uh, of course, there is a download link to this in the description. If you can't click on that for whatever reason, you can just search for a hashtag the sim supply on the gallery or for my origin ID, which is also the sim supply. So you can find it that way uh, in case you can't click on the link. Uh, and there's the bathroom. And then I think we're going to jump into floor plan screenshot no 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 another angle and then the floor plan uh but yeah again download link is below but thanks for watching guys i will see you next time and have an awesome day